What up, guys? We just came back from listening to...
Access. Guys, you're listening to Music Access with me, Aaron of New East. Our first song starting off the second hour of the show for Saturday, June 1st, was Ses Sibon by Lisa Ono. So we'll have music-loving lady, Min Gyeong, joining us in the studio in just a bit to take a look at all the top songs from the Billboard and UK charts from this week with Chart Beat. Here's how you can listen to us. You can download the Arirang application on your smartphones or listen on your computers at www.arirangfm.co.kr slash music access. We're also on terrestrial DMB or if you are on Jeju Island through these FM stations. Jeju City is 88.7. Sogipo City is 88.1. And the Daejeon area is 101.9. You can leave a message by clicking into our music access message board at www.arirangfm.co.kr slash music access. All right, guys, before we get to chart B with Mingyong, let's listen to a song, Love Lead the Way by Joe Brooks. On Saturday, we get all the thumping details Fresh from the latest Billboard and UK Pop Chart results. Can you feel my chart beat? Check this out. Hi, Mingyong. Hello. Hey, your acting gets better and better every day. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, did you have a nice week? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's the first day of June. Uh-huh. Uh, there's a lot of music festivals that take place in Korea. All right, the, this right. month and into the summer. Uh-huh. You know, I bet you're excited, right? Yeah, because, I'm you know, pretty much excited. A lot of great bands are coming to Korea, so... Oh, what kind of bands are coming this like, year? Like, um, a lot of British rock bands from England, mm. and a lot of, um, you know, Metallica and Muse, right? Yeah, They're yeah, They're the yeah. biggest names. They're, oh, uh, they're Metallica. coming to Korea. Wow. And then there are some other indie bands that you can never, ever meet them unless there is some rock festivals that invite, invite them. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. What do you think is the best part about outdoor musical festivals? Um, well, maybe you can get drunk during the day and then nobody, <laughs> nobody uh, accuses you of being crazy. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I think you'd, you'd love that too. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, between Metallica and Muse, who are you looking more forward to? Um, Foles. There are too many. Um, the Foles <laughs> is one of the biggest fans the that Foles. I'm expecting. And then... And then My Bloody Valentine is coming up, uh, mm. coming back. And then The Suede, The Big Pink, Las Vegas, and mm. who else? The XX. You know The XX, right? No. <laughs> uh, they're kind of up, up and coming new band. Oh, okay. Yeah. And when you see your favorite group perform, mm -hmm. can you show us how you're going to react? Like, no, <gasps> no, no, no. I, I, mostly I just um, cross my hands. And then cr cross my arms and then um, sit back or stand back and then just enjoy what I do. Oh, you don't do like a heavy? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, today, before we get to the Billboard chart, let's take a look at the Billboard news first. Okay. Minyoung, can you give us our first bit of news for today? All right, uh, are you familiar with the Andy Warhol's banana? A banana? I'm not, the I, the I yellow Andy banana. Warhol. I know Andy Warhol. I'm not sure what the plan is. Okay. But. Um. He has a kind of fam uh, famous. I think you'll know when you see it. Yeah. Maybe. There's a yellow banana that is that kind of holds as his symbol. And then this banana was actually on the cover of the band uh, Velvet Underground. Oh. Uh. Uh, that's a band name. All well, right. and they uh, the Velvet Underground and the <laughs> Andy Warhol Foundation for the visual arts have split their differences over the iconic cover art for the 1967 album The Velvet Underground and Nico. So uh, the banana <laughs> was on this album cover and then oh. um, because this album was out in 1967 and then Velvet Underground kind of disbanded and right. their era is finished. Right, but right. still it's a, an artwork of Andy Warhol and then the foundation wants to sell the cover sell the, the banana to, you know, iPod or iPad and oh. some other um, commercial ads. So this um, people related to the Velvet Underground wanted to kind of, you know, get the, what do you say, compensation. Oh, for, for trying to sell the banana. Yeah, so there, there oh. has been a lawsuit. Oh. And then it kind of ended uh, two days ago, May 29th, three days ago, actually. Oh, uh, how, how did it end? Um, they just, Andy Warhol uh, Foundation 
decided to pay them. <laughs> 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 so money um, solves everything. That's right. really sad, but still. Sad. Yeah, I kind of trusted the uh, Velvet Underground people because I thought they were actually looking for the rock spirit mm. to um, protect their album cover from uh, being used in the commercial ads. Right, but, but then in they the end, <laughs> got money and they yeah. let it go. That's oh, what happened. It's not good. Mm -hmm. um, Andy Warhol. Mm -hmm. Do you like Andy Warhol? Yeah. Uh, I remember I, I learned about him in middle school. So uh -huh. I don't remember anything. Really? Um, I remember one painting. Uh -huh. You know, what there's like it? nine like faces and they're all different Marley Mon Monroe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing I remember Randy <laughs> And Warhol. then the soup, the can. Yeah, the can of yeah. soup. Yeah, I felt, yeah, okay, yeah. I remember that too. <laughs> all right, well, then you know everything about An Andy Warhol. Uh, that's the only thing you need to know about him, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. Do you have any other news for us on the billboard? Uh, this is a bit familiar news to you, I guess. It's a news from Taylor Swift. Mm. And she revealed third fragrance named Taylor by Taylor Swift. Did you know that she's been launching uh, the perfume? No. Line? No. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> well, I, this is my first time that um, acknowledging her launching the perfume too. Mm. Well, let me read the article for you. Uh, in between songwriting, partnering with Kev, and performing at the 2013 Billboard Music Awards, Taylor Swift found the time to launch a new fragrance. Mm. And then this uh, fragrance is named Taylor. Right. Unlike her um, former pr fragrances were titled kind of uh, um, different names like Wonderstruck and Wonderstruck Enchanted. Uh, that sounds like Wonderstruck. Uh, that's a little weird. <laughs> and then she said, um, this fragrance mm. will be more like, um, well, presenting, representing her own personality. So she wanted to name it with her uh, name. What do you think about the perfumes or, or Eau de Toilet? Or? You know, I don't, I don't think um, people who want to break up with their boyfriends should use the perfume because... Taylor Swift, you know, she's, like, famous for, like, breaking up so many times, like, so many different guys. So, uh -huh. I don't know if you want to follow Taylor Swift, like, her personality. Oh. She says, like, the perfume is, like, her personality. Oh. I, don't, I don't know if you guys want to follow that, because, like, then you might break up with your boyfriend. I don't know if it's a good idea, but, um, you know, I think I think it's great that, you know, she's um venturing in, out yeah, into, like, different, like, else. businesses. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's cool, mm. but, um... Yeah, like I said, if you don't want to break up with your boyfriend, you know. Oh God, <laughs> there's a I lot of different that's perfumes. Very, um, <laughs> that's very, that's too personal. No. <laughs> well, yeah, they, they, personally, do you wear perfume? Me, I use cologne. I, I, I mean cologne. Um, you know, if I go like somewhere out like nice, I use I use cologne. But if I go to like like go to practice or something, no, um, like, I wear like of clothes. Of course. And I sweat and stuff, so there's no <laughs> point. Okay. All right. So that's that. Minyoung, let's take a look at the songs from the 20th 